is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Cryptdoor. Today is episode one of Tombstone Tourist, reading the stones. You guys have been asking me to spend more time on the stones, show more of them. Well, I'm going to give you guys what you've been asking for. Uh, shout out to Josh L for uh, submitting the name that I picked for this series. Thank you so much, Josh. You are awesome. So let's get on. We are at Hills of Eternity Memorial Park in um, Colma, California. Wyatt Earp is in here along with Levi Strauss and some others. Um, so we're going to get on with these stones and see what we can find. Now this is going to be a work in progress here. This is going to be a little bit experimental here. So if there's anything along the way that you guys would like to see differently with this series, um, throw it out in the comment box below. I really don't know how many uh, episodes I'm going to do with this or how often I'm going to do them, but I will do them every now and then. So let's get on with it. Here is an interesting one. I'm finding right here. Last name is Reese. Isaac and Jenny. Let's see here. Sacred to the memory of Isaac, beloved husband of Jenny, a native of Alsage, died July 25th, 1892, aged 43 years and five months. So, pretty young here to, to pass away, but we're talking about the 1800s here. Look at the detail of this, this stone. This is just... It's got a little tower on it, even it's badass. Our dear father, it says on the front of that. And it's got beautiful flowers carved into it. It's even pretty detailed there, as you can see. Let's show you the to give you a good reading. Hopefully you guys can see this good. I know there's a little bit of shadow from me, so sorry. It's got a nice base to it, too. Let's walk around this thing a little bit. Uh, we got Jeanette also. Again, beautiful flowers carved into this thing. Not as detailed as the ones on the other side, but. Well, there you go. It's in another language there. This is part of the, the cemetery is part of the Jewish cemeteries of San Francisco. Anybody can translate that side out for me would be more than welcome to do it. Throw it out in the comment box below. on this side, but another beautiful flower. Let's get a long shot of this again. This thing is tall. And right next to the grave, we were just looking at the stone. I found another couple interesting stones right here. Beautiful. It says our parents. In between the stones. Let's see. Ooh. Lazarus. I'm horrible at pronouncing names, but Lazarus Washenheimer died June 17th, 1874, aged 53 years. May his soul rest in peace. See the top part. I'll try to scan down it for you guys really good here. Hmm. 
And I do believe it's a sp spouse, Amalia. She died September 12th, 1898. Aged 84 years, may her soul rest in peace. You got your uh, last initial carved in each post or each stone. You walk around this thing, get a long shot of it. I don't think there's anything on the other side. I really doubt it, but uh, let's check it out. These nice base stone bases too on these things. I don't think there's anything because this is behind a tree. Trees back here. No, it's just it's just this the back side of it. But how, they, they don't make them like this anymore. You know, they do not. This is beautiful. And there's the first one, and there's the, the two right here. All right, here's three together. Kaufman family. They're nothing really super intricate or fancy, but I just kind of like the way they look. And that they're all right here, three in a row. We got, we got Jesse, died November 3rd, 1952. We got, if you can make this out, Laura died April 4th, 1932. And Rosalie Kaufman died May 9th, 1929. Oh, here we go. Bottom of this one, it says, Beloved Wife and Mother. So I'm wondering If the first one, Jesse, was maybe their child, because Jesse died in 1952. Very interesting. Maybe not, who knows, but that was kind of a guess, because this person was the last one to be put over here in this family area. But I'm looking back here, and there's more Kaufmans. Not sure if it's of the same family. I, I would assume, being they're so close together, we got Walter, born in New York, October 2nd, 1866, died in San Francisco, August 25th, 1916. I'm hoping this stuff comes out good on camera. Then we got Charles, sacred to the memory of Charles Kaufman, born in Bottom, rest in peace. I would assume. Then we got Samuel. Samuel Kaufman died December 5th, 1880, aged 63 years. down here this one looks wow well this one's in a completely different language so it's kind of hard to tell but the way it's carved it's very beautiful as you can see the top of this thing it's like some kind of cloth or something or like a curtain or uh, some kind of something over it as you can see all the detail on this one
this one is very beautiful very awesome i'm gonna try to get as close as i can as you can see they got like a nice area with flowers little little hedge and flowers uh planted i don't want to like be stepping on this too much let's see here and i got a shadow on this i'm sorry in memory of ann bremer artist and poet in albert bender humanitarian it's, it's hard to get real close on this thing but sun's shining in a certain way so it's kind of messing this shot up so I do apologize but... oh, this one's nice Rose London check out on top the statue on top it's got a, got a finger missing looks like is that moss or whatever it is growing on the statue? It's a cool figurine on the top. It's a little angel. Let's see. Rose London, beloved mother of Minnie, born May 20th, 1855. Died March 23rd, 1909, I do believe. This is beautiful. We got Bernhard right here, Isaac and Sarah. This is a beautiful stone, as you can see. Isaac, March 1821 to June 1897. And we got Sarah, September 1836 to August 1918. And what I noticed on the front, they have their name on the front, uh, on the top, excuse me, well, the top, top front. And if you walk around it to the back, they got it on the back too. You can see it from all angles. Came around from the back of that last one excuse me and I found the selling family here look, look how small this is look the stones are very small I wonder if they were if they were children too because there's a Samuel 1870 to 1923 and then these over here Look at this. And their name. This is John. As you can see the top of the stone, the name is in the top. And then we have over here, looks like Sophie. Died December 27th, 1894. And then again, the name across the top of the stone. And we'll look at Samuels. Another beautiful one, Isaac Newberger. Born in 
Wright Schofen, October 19th, 1828, died December 7th, 1902. Stone. Should give you a little more of a view at the front. It's beautiful. Look at the design of this thing around the side. This whole there's a row. This whole row this is in is actually very interesting. So I'm gonna check out everybody in this row. Memory of Henriette, beloved wife of Leon Bine, a native of Alsace, France, September 4th, 1852 to February 27th, 1905. This one's got some detail on it too. As you can see, are these like birds or flowers? They're flowers that are carved into the top edge of this thing and the very top to rest in peace design is pretty intricate on this thing I'm gonna show you the back side of this thing in a minute we're gonna walk around to the back of this one it's very uh, detailed. This is a trip how they used to carve these things. This is this is some like craftsmanship right here. Here's another one. There's the one right next to it too. It's, I think it's the same. Probably the same family. Got this one. Okay, that one. We saw that one already. This one is Leon. Ah, Leon. Okay. Husband of Her Henriette. Okay, gotcha. So that's a wife. This is the husband. Leon, beloved husband of Henriette Bine, a native of Vosges, France, February 12th, 1847 to March 28th, 1910. And then again, it's a very nice design. I showed you the back side a minute ago. Same thing, rest in peace on top. So Leon and Henriette. Well, that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to do more episodes. I'm just going to break these up so they're not super, super long on each one. So thank you all so much for watching. Now, this is a new series. If you are digging this series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon. And I'm going to go look around and see what else I can find in this cemetery. Um, like I said, more episodes to come. Not sure, like I said, how many more I'm going to do or how often I'm going to do them. But I will throw these in here every once in a while in addition to my normal, normal exploration videos. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. This video was made possible with the help of viewers just like you. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. Just as little as $1 a month can go to help fuel future videos and help the channel run smoothly. The link to our Patreon is in the drop-down description box of this video. Thank you.